What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Feed Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube, and I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me for today's episode. Fixed Friday turns 100. I'm playing a classic fixed game ranked on my main account with no camouflage to celebrate the occasion. And what do you know, folks? The game decides to give me North America. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. That is hilarious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, settings for the series. We're doing world domination on classic map auto setup, 60 second turn expert bot, but it's neutral. Um, with no filtering of players, alliances are on, fog blizzards and portals are off, and I'm in the fourth position. In position number one, we've Destroyer from the United States of America playing as white. In position two, General Butler, 13790 from Spain, playing as Magenta. And he's going to stick it right in my NA, isn't he? He's going to cut through and get his troops out. That makes sense. I think he's going to hit my two and evacuate. Smart. In the third position, we have Eric Fang from Germany playing as purple. I'm in the fourth position. It's my main account ranked um, because fuck it, the season is over. And I figured this would be a cool way to celebrate 100 episodes of Fixed Friday. In the fifth position, we have Teflon Combat 1063, also from Spain, playing as yellow. And he has a great open for Africa, Europe. Looks like purple's going to interrupt the Africa. And in the final position, we have General Trebuchet 13757 from France playing as blue and let's see how this cookie crumbles so. I'm trying to get my card here unsuccessfully okay That is fine. And let's just push everyone out of my position <clears throat> sooner rather than later. Just go that way. Get out of my face. I think yellow is going to put troops in Europe. If he's smart, he doesn't add to the fort and he uses it. Try and make allies with everyone now. Let's see who wants to be my friend. Yeah, so yellow puts his troops in, in Europe. That's right. Nobody's messing for South America yet. Hey, thank you, Crazy Pilot, for the Prime Sub. Thank you so much, man. Why not let Yellow go to Europe? Uh, I could. I could. That seems... Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let's. Well, first, I want to see Magenta evacuate the position. Yeah, Blue's going to take South America quickly. Good for them. Which is in. It's a single troop to add to the eight stack. I like that start for blue. I also like having a having a homie on my border like that. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, probably smart to take this one and let um, yellow connect through into Europe. He'll see that as a friendly move. Thank you, Nephilim72 for the gift sub. Thanks so thank you so much, man. Thank you, Freaky Phallus, for the biddies. Appreciate you guys. Folks on Twitch helping me out. We're doing this one live with 140 40 of my friends hanging out with me. And it feels good to have a little bit of support. What do you do with that? He's like, I would like to let, let it out, please. Brogan with the 1,000 bits. Choo-choo. On the hype train. Thanks, guys. I love you, too. Yeah, I let that four out for sure. Neither white nor yellow attacked the magenta one, which was my hope. So we, we now try push magenta out. Pulls the five out or doesn't quite yet. He does. He, very friendly move. Strange that he wouldn't have allied me to pull that move. Okay, so I'm going to get two takes off my four. Sets me up to take North America quickly. Ye give yellow the opportunity to leave. Then all I have to do is hit a three. 
and I have a fully guarded North America by like three turns. That's excellent. Hey, thank you, Chad Carter, for the gift sub, man. Thank you so much. How do I get different icons? This is colorblind mode. So with colorblind mode, um, you turn the intensity down to zero, and what you end up with is a game that looks the same, except you have different shaped pucks, which is good for the colorblind folks who might want to follow you along on YouTube. Sorry, but yeah, yeah. Well, I, that's that's why I gave it to you. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's why I opened the path so that you can get your four out. Do it, man. Yes, that's exactly why I did it. <laughs> perfect, perfect, friendly neighbor. Yes, hit it and hit it again. Yes, and then I'll have a good neighbor on that front. No, you you hit it again. Hmm. Why didn't he hit it again? That keeps me off North America for an extra turn. I don't love it. He didn't leave. Ah, oh, thank you, Freaky Phallus. Thank you, V Vexer, for the Prime sub. Thank you for the biddies crackle. Appreciate you guys, man. I don't know how to say thank you enough, but I do try. Why wouldn't Blue take South America now? What is their plan? No way to know. Hey, thank you, Spudley. He must have something up his butt. <laughs> Do you know something I don't? Yes, good, good. That's what I had hoped would happen. Green or white player would expend his troops, but it also totally makes sense for him to just take Australia. Now, who's going to stop him? Me? Why wouldn't you take it? Right? You'd guard with a nine. That's great. No one's going to break that. All right, very clear situation developing between me and yellow. I get a plus five, yellow gets a plus five. That's win-win for both of us. Teflon combat. Let's see if you want to be a homie. Hey, Asylum, thank you for the, thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. Seems good. <laughs> it does. I was playing too cautiously, only taking cards. Everyone's playing super cautiously this game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need to, yeah. I want you to hit me. Like, there's only one acceptable move for yellow right now, is to add to his, four, is to, to get his four out of North America. Yes. Well played. I love you. So we're good. So I won't militarize this border and I can defend the other two. And I'm friendly with blue. So I actually don't need to militarize this border either. We wait and see if anyone breaks me. Do I have a set? This would be a key moment to trade, right? Key moment to trade. Okay, so I'm gonna go full friendship on both of my allies and we'll see how that cookie crumbles. White takes Australia now. Blue takes South America. I'm going to take North America. Start getting my cards in Asia. Blue locks himself in SA. That's fine. That is totally fine. What do I guard with here? I think I, do I match? Blue still has the exterior. I think I match. Cause yeah, cause their situation isn't ideal. Purple takes Africa.
So what we're going to do, the way we take North America is we guard with a matching nine. And then we take, but we leave our stack in a position where it doesn't threaten yellow unless they open. So yellow knows we're cool. And I actually guard against magenta. I don't think yellow opens. I think they wouldn't have left only to re-enter. And now they can guard on three fronts their Europe instead of four, which is way better for them too. I like my positioning. I like my open. That was a really good... To, to have a set on three, even though it was the cavalry trade, I think it was fine. Because now I have a strong North America, not threatening blue. Someone might pop blue out of Europe, which would be bad for me. Or out of Asia, which would be bad for me. Wouldn't shock me if Magenta did that. But I never, I never re-raise here. I let him break me. I'll, I'll, I'll let him hit nine troops, but I don't think I re-raise here, no matter how many troops he stacks. Because I just lose then in that equation. <sighs> okay, Magenta has a 10 set. What would you do if you were Magenta? They play the single stack in Europe game. They play the double stack in Europe game. Okay. I mean, I hold North America. Fan fucking tastic. Do we see purple go for a break? I don't think so. Everyone's still alive in this game. Purple off to a bit of a lead. 44 troops, but I'm going to get 8 on my turn. So in this board, yellow can take Europe. They might have done it too slowly. All right, so I have a 10 exterior, I have a 12 interior, I have a nine guard that isn't going to raise, and I have a zero, and I have no guard on the Iceland Greenland corridor. Very happy with my start. Yellow's dumb, doesn't let white out. Yeah, yellow doesn't seem to be um, as knowledgeable about how to take their bonus quickly enough. They're sitting on five cards, 25 troops. If someone was lined up to kill them, like maybe purple, maybe magenta. All right, I don't think blue goes bad neighbor now, but you never know. Oh, blue's not investing enough in his exterior to make sure it lives. It would be very correct for magenta or white to take blue player out of his Asian position to cause trouble for either me or purple. Yeah, if Magenta hits, see, if Magenta was lined up, they could hit and kill yellow for five cards, but they didn't single stack it. White skips, incorrect. They're card blocked. Well, maybe not incorrect. I think it would be fine for white to remove, it would be a good move for white to remove this five because that would cause trouble on the other side of the world. Yeah, so magenta single stacks, but it's it's one turn too late. Hey, we got a karaoke redeem. You want me to sing Lincoln Park? I don't know. I'm no Chester Bennington. I don't think I can do it. I don't honestly think I can. You can do it. <laughs> Yellow's going to take Europe, but he still doesn't have pink up his ass if he doesn't turtle. Right. Yeah, yellow sitch is bad. Let's see if he has a 10 set. I think yellow sitch is, is quite bad. All right, so we're almost tied up to purple now. Yeah, takes Europe. Sets, six trade, 
Okay. Cool open. The board is now stabilized. I have North America. Yellow has Europe. Blue has South America. Purple has Africa. White has Australia. Magenta has nothing but a, th a 35 stack in Asia. They're letting blue have a position here. Ah. White, again, white or magenta could knock that position out. And then we have the South America player trapped. But white is skipping? No, white's taking cards now. Okay. I can sit on my North American bonus. I don't need to be a greedy man and take 12 territories. I don't, I don't want to either because that'll make me too scary. That's on pink suiciding for Australia. Um... No, I don't think so. I don't think we see that. I think it's much more likely we see a Europe break, actually. But he's the weakest player, so he does nothing. I think he just does nothing. Right. Actually, somehow he's more, he has more troops than me, but I guess he's trading twice. Okay, purple takes China and passes. We got all passive players this game. All right, this game could go for a long time. Too scary, you mean people would turn on me? Yeah, I don't want to give people any incentive. To, I'm happy with eight a turn for now. Eight a turn for now is really good. Um, and I really don't want to put myself in a position where anyone gets any bright ideas until I've already pulled decently far ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this stack around so I can ensure my future of, of one takes and not have to worry about hitting three. And and again, we're showing friendly play to all of the other neighbors in, Aust in uh, Asia. All right, so yellow does get the Europe hold. They hit a five stack. So yeah, so yellow is a newer player. They know enough not to militarize this corridor, but they instigated with white. So white is now the weakest player at 35 troops. So we, we do potentially see the Australia position become desperate. Again, would be wise to knock blue out of their uh, continent, uh, out of their card taking uh, card farm in Asia, which would cause some friction between either me and blue or purple and blue or both. How does white deal with losing a five stack? Do they take it on the chin? What about Aerosmith? Buzz off with you, Aerosmith. Or is brewing between purple and blue? I hope so. <laughs> that would be very good for me. I think he breaks Europe. No, easy take. All right, we're just seeing passive play. We're just seeing passive play, which is good. High quality play, but the game does have the potential to stalemate with. Yes. Okay. So Magenta finally does it. Magenta finally says, I am not going to allow Blue to continue to take cards. Now, Blue's next to act. They're getting five car. Or they're getting five troops on their turn. So if I raise the nine by five troops, I preempt the break. I raise it by more than I threaten. I don't want to threaten. But I have to. So I have an 18 and a 33 stack guard holding five cards. I didn't trade on four because so I didn't want the infantry trade. Blue is a 10 set. Maybe he hits my 18. It's bad. Maybe he skips. He does hit me. Okay. Good play by white. Or by uh, magenta, rather.
magenta manipulating blue. Yeah, dude, it was the correct move. I liked the move a lot. Do I have a 10 set? No, I have the low match. Hmm. You want war? <laughs> so if I move the 35 down, Magenta breaks me up there. I think I let him. Let's see. He won't be able to trade again. I don't think I break because I don't want to open the 30. I would break if there wasn't a 30 there because I don't need this guy getting extra troops if he's going to hit an 18 to get a card. But it's a dire situation because if I put too many troops on this front, then Magenta just breaks me on the other. No response is definitely a response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No response is definitely a response. I uh, I went for the ally request there because I, I, I always want to sue for peace if possible. Blues skips if he's smart, hits purple if he wants to win. Yeah. Who only hits purple if he wants to die. <laughs> That's right. I believe he's quit. I believe he's quit the game, which is why he didn't respond to my alliance. Okay. Blue has quit. Great. Now I have a massive, massive buffer zone on that front. We'll wait for him to go MIA before we dedicate more troops up into the Kamchatka corridor. But if I have an unmilitarized Greenland, Iceland... And then my, a single stack guard on North America in Kamchatka, then I'm very happy because no one's going to hit this 31. And then purple's going to act, actualize on this side of the board, as is yellow. So it's going to be a purple, yellow, white collabo. And then uh, magenta is going to dwindle. And then hopefully I eat them. So I, I actually, I once blue goes MIA, I remove the guard. And then we will just allow all of these blue troops to be a meat shield. Now, if Magenta wanted to cause some action, they'd hit my 30. Are they coming in? They are. I think they're, I feel like they're coming in now. No. Okay. Good. Good. Do you break once MIA? No, uh, because they won't be getting extra troops. Once you go MIA, no troops, no troops are added. So I, I'm not incentivized to break. I could sneak the extra three territories. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? That's actually pretty smart. That's pretty smart. I like that a lot. Now I'm going to sit on 12 territories. Watch him come back, right? That would be the tragedy. I'm just going to refill my coffee.
Okay. Where am I at in terms of troops? White's in the lead at 75, followed by purple at 74. Yellow, 71 troops. Magenta, 63. I have 66. The blue player. Creeping their way to death. 37. Okay. Single stack guard. On Kamchatka, I like that a lot. See the card trading zone being one that I'm not really messing with? I'll hit that four to take a card. Stay out of trouble a little bit. So now the bot won't add to it. Hey, Pete, what is your opinion about the settings of R2 of the championship? I just finished mine after almost four hours of playing. I heard one game took seven and a half. Do you think the settings are too stalemate-y? Okay. So what I'm going to do after I play my game and after I publish it is I'm going to compile a list of all of the um, negative comments I received regarding the settings on my YouTube channel. And I am going to do a community poll and we're going to ask a couple of questions just to get a sense of what you all feel, because as much as the anecdotes are um, exclusively negative and there hasn't been a single person that has come to me and said, wow, Pete, I really love the settings. I'm so glad. Um, I feel like collecting a little bit of data would at least do an objective job at trying to make the argument that I think you guys are all making fairly emphatically and I hear you. I'm going to do what I can, which is apparently not enough, but I'm going to do what I can to try my best to make sure that the settings are as fair and as fun for you guys as possible. What is the point of getting a thousand people to sign up for a tournament if you can't make them stay around? Aw, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> well, that's a GG. Me and Magenta lose. Fair enough. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see Magenta. General Butler, 13790. Gave Pete the old heave ho. So yeah, so Purple's going to kill Blue, kill me, kill Magenta right now. I die too, yep. And there you have it. Celebrating 100 episodes of Fixed Friday with a suicide. Congratulations to General Butler. You did what you had to do. Do we win the 6v3, ladies and gentlemen? We do. Why did Magenta decide to suicide? Because he is a loser. <laughs> because he is a loser and he couldn't win the game. So because he lost, he decided to make me lose too. Because he is a loser. That's right. <laughs> Spud? <laughs> Spud, here's what I'm saying. All right, so I get fourth. Yeah, and he quits. Good. Good for you, sir. Imagine yellow winning. Wouldn't shock me. Bruh, I get the same in my streams. I, as if, right? As if I didn't expect this to happen. If I didn't expect it to happen, I would be very disappointed right now. But being that I expected it to happen, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube and I stream on Twitch weekdays in the winter. I'm a good game. And uh, what do we end up? We end up with fourth place. Defeating an intermediate and a beginner and losing to a novice and intermediate and an expert. I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. That's what you get. Playing ranked on your main account, ladies and gentlemen. 194. Oh, yeah, the game's not over yet. All right, we're looking for some redemption, folks. We're looking for some redemption. Fix Friday at 100. Surely the luck can't always go badly. Maybe it does. Maybe you just get on these weird streaks. You know what? I will trade terrible luck on these fixed games for uh, good luck in my tournaments any day of the week. All right, we start in the third position. Um, settings for the series. We're doing classic fixed. World domination on classic map. Auto setup, 60 second turn. No bot. But neutral if someone quits. Fixed cards, balance, blitz, dice, alliances are on. Fog, blizzards, and portals are off. And I'm in the third position. In the first position, we have Tank Tank from the United States of America playing as yellow. In the second position, we have 14 from Australia playing as white. Uh, this is Bird Blitz from Bangladesh, the blue player. Uh, and we have gone 47. No, we've gone 48 and 56 on this count. Probably not even a master. Um... General Ha, the red player from Colombia. Um, did we play him earlier? Bliss Goya, the green player from United States of America. And finally, the magenta player, General Bandy, 6174 from USA. Okay, I like my after start. I need to be cool with green. Green needs to go somewhere. And not here. I give green the out. <laughs> I give green the out, I think, by taking a card here and letting him move through me if he wants to consolidate those positions. What are my thoughts on the R4 settings fixed fog zombies? I haven't played it yet. Um, so I will um I will have thoughts when I play it, and I'll let you guys know what I think. I think fixed zombies is a strange one to have every season considering I don't think anyone plays Fix Zombies. Um, but other than that, I reserve my judgment to, uh, to any settings until I've at least played them. Kilton says Fix Zombies is stupid. Well, he has an opinion. What do you mean we teach the people different things? You teach people what? When, when someone sticks a stack in your face, you teach them to run like a bitch? How, how, is, it that, uh, how is it that our lessons differ? Oh, oh, green wants an NA. Okay. I teach them to win rather than suicide. Ah, I see what you're saying. Live to fight another day. I think it's very good lesson that players do not forget when that shit happens to them. If you stick your gun in my face and you're like, I'm going to kill you, I'll kill you first. Pete's lesson on mutually assured destruction is more important. Hey, they're both lessons, right? Playing to win is important if the win matters to you. But there are different ways of winning. I don't enjoy um, people thinking that they can bully me. So I will make you die if, if you're like, I'm the, the message that that a player moving like a, an equal stack to my full stack right next to mine sends is I'm going to suicide into you. That's how I receive that message. So being that I'm very threatened and being that if I let him hit me, he kills me. The preemptive strike is my only option. Do I go for a turn to Africa or is that too greedy? I don't think I... Who breaks me? Let's see if Red wants to be homie. 
Because if red wants to be a homie, I can do it. No, I have to let red through. I have to let red through. And then we can all be cool. This gives red a turn to pop into South America. So I can have red here, green here. I'm here. White is in Europe. But he didn't ally me up. I think if you backed into Kim Chattaka, he aims at purple, but that would be a slower game from behind and not as exciting. But either choice is fine. <laughs> yeah, I think, he, I think he still hits me at that point. Because I don't think he moves into purple. I don't think he can test the strongest player. I think he punishes me for breaking him. And for card locking him for all those turns. I don't think I, I live. Yeah, I could be right. Well, we, and there's no way for us to know, huh? We can't, we, the, the, this is something I like to really harp on about whenever it comes up is what I do in free for all is I try my best to most effectively model my opponent's mental states. And it's a model. It's a, it's a guess, right? We're taking our best guess. We don't know for sure. So, you know, I, I, I put a high odds probability on something. Red totally should have moved through me. Um, when they had the chance, because now, now I'm going to, I mean, like they're asking for a third fucking turn of this. A bit much. And they didn't ally me. They're probably a noob though. Yeah, so what I like, what I often like to say is the, the more effectively I can model my opponent's mental states, the better I can predict, predict their actions and then put myself in a position where I can benefit from that prediction. Maddie says, so my question about risk versus other area control games is like Magic the Gathering versus other card games that remove the mana screw and flood from the game. And I love Magic, by the way. Yeah, I think people that complain about luck and risk don't understand what risk is. It's just luck. It's, you know, it's a dice game and the spawn is lucky and the turn order is lucky and the cards are lucky and that's the game and you kind of have to make your peace with. Everyone wants to be like, how good am I? Let's measure it, right? But <laughs> you need such a large sample size because the game is so lucky. I'm going to try blocking red now. They had their turn. They didn't take it. So now red can take South America and have an exterior, but they don't accept my lines request. So there's every chance I get broken and that's also fine. Not to get too deep, but can you advise any methods that help you to manage your mental health? Having struggled after retirement, my marathon training is everything. You're an older person. So what are you suffering from money bags, brother? Like my personal story is one of self-hatred and depression and addiction. Um, so how do I manage that? Well, I like to design system. <laughs> Fuck you. We're getting these types of games tonight, eh? Like one hit was fine. Huh? Huh. So like, I think the, the very original source for me, um, was I had to learn how to not hate myself. That was the root. So like you ask yourself the question, why do you hate yourself? And I, I meditated on that for years, maybe not a full year. It was a long time. And I asked myself the question honestly over and over again, why do you hate yourself? The framing was important, right? You, you, you have to first admit that you do. And then once you, you know, once you see it, you cannot unsee it. So I look at that and I say, okay, I admit it. Now why? And I think the conclusion is that I came to was I hate myself because I know what I should be doing and I don't do it. And as soon as I realized that, No, I just don't do that anymore. Attack red. Yeah, thanks, dude. You attack red. You attack red. Okay. 
But you didn't. You want me to break them. So now that I know what I should be doing, at least I don't get to pretend like... Huh? You know, I don't get that excuse, that depression bullshit where you lie in bed and you're just like, oh, I feel so sad, which justifies you being a lazy, useless piece of shit. I'm running out of time, so I have to get things done. If I'm ever going to be the man that I want to be or dream I could be, um, I have to work really, really hard to get there. So that's basically what I'm thinking pretty much all the time. I think I give Red a chance. I don't know. It's a tough spot. It's a tough spot. I want him to attack red. Okay. You better. You better, buddy. Okay. How's it working to get invited to the world championship? The world championship is open, man. Open uh, enrollment. Anyone can sign up. I'm going to do some push-ups for Xanthat. I got you. Baby, he's going in. My man. Love it. I love you. We are best friends. We are best buddies now in this game of risk. The bestest. Never better. You sold your business and set up at 18 and sold at 29. So not quite old, but you feel disillusioned now because you're, because you have too much money and too much free time and you don't have a mission, right? The man who could do whatever he wants can't figure out what he wants. That's what I'm getting from that story. Tell me I'm wrong. Hey, Chloe, how are ya? How you doing, man? 277? Yeah. Just hanging out. Hanging out. Playing some Risk. I feel like I need a new focus, but you did well. Yeah, you don't have a mission. Right. Well, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah, so you're not set for life, so you need to start another business at some point. Oh, don't fuck me out of this kill, yellow. I want to make that fucking... That kill's going to be so satisfying if I get it. Welcome to getting older. Disillusionment is part of life. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to say to Dozier Butler's comment, at least hit the two then. Set me up to take. Please hit that two. Thank you. Okay, cool. He wants NA, he can have NA, I get the kill, and Africa. That's fine.
How can you sign up to the next one? I do promos on my show every time a tournament um, signups are open. Every time. I have a weekly news program now um, where I go over the current events in the game of Risk, game-wise, ranking system-wise, tournament scene-wise, whatever might be happening in my own thing. Um, and then we do promos for, oh no, he eliminates screen's exterior, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know you do. I mean, me and Green got a good thing going, right? Me and Green got a good thing going. I can have a... I cannot hold Africa. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. You, you, got, you got fucked by white. Let's hit him. Let's do it. I want you to do it first, though. All right, I'm in an okay spot. I'm going to get my Africa broken by green, but I expect he's also going to hit white. I have to leave this corridor open for a while. Away she goes. Hi, viewer from Germany here. It's currently 2.22 a.m. Could not sleep when I found your round one. Dude, you're impressing. Thank you for the entertainment. You're welcome, Dr. Crappy. <laughs> Great Twitch name. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Don't put your stack in the corner, dude. What are you doing? I'm not going to let you hit him again if you're going to put your fucking stack in the corner. Fuck off. Do something then. Ah. Yeah, guy, throw me the hearts. I hope white kills you. <laughs> Do I have cards? No. Okay. Do you have any magic cards that are particularly proud of? Um. Oh yeah, so my favorite deck is my Karn Silver Golem deck. Um. That's like, you know, my EDH deck that I put the most work into. I think it's of the highest quality. You know, all my commander stuff now is almost three years out of date. Um, I, I peppered it with a little bit of new stuff, but I pretty much stopped reading cards after the uh, consequences of the pandemic. And it's been really hard for me to get back into magic, though. I know there's a new uh, pre-release this weekend, so maybe um, I'll have a chance to check out the new set. And... And that goes into his nine. His nine goes out. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we don't give you another shot at that. You're going to lock your stack in the corner. Throwback Thursday game when get all the old people into the lobby. Who are all the old people? What's your era of old people? Yeah, I saw I saw the new Praetors. They look crazy. Yeah, yellow wasn't expecting that. Yellow get, yellow gets broken. Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, Genta is trying to take Asia, which is not going to happen. Me, Heitzung, Kilted, Kitty, Arco, all the people. Heitzung is, was here. Kilted's still here. Kitty is around for sure. Arco. Arco's doing his card skip gaming channel. See, like, all right, here's the thing, dude. I can take your Australia. <laughs> and I can take your Australia easily, man. Do it. Hmm. You better guard your Australia, you dumb shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Hmm.
No, because what's going to happen if I take Oz is then I'm in a battle of attrition with Magenta where we both die and then white wins. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to force some action between green and yellow. Which seems to be working. So I'm just trying to disincentivize white from hitting me. And I actually don't need to take cards if I can hold Africa. I would love to line up the green kill, but... He said, so that's not going to happen. Magenta's dumb, right? Magenta's not letting people take cards in Asia. He's going to try and take Asia. Like, who the fuck is going to let you hold Asia? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's letting you hold Asia, dude. Attack my territory if... Really? He wants to trade in his own bonus? This is the most adorably stupid thing I've ever seen. So yellow breaks that, right? No, yellow doesn't. Hmm. Yellow goes into the skip mode. Oh, no. White breaks that. Good. It's hitting a 10. White insistingly breaks that. Excellent. Hmm. I don't think green knows it's me. Be pretty dumb to cheat. Where do you find these players, Pete? <laughs> Good question. I think white shows full trust to me from that move. And then I have a really good thing going on with the white player. Anthony Cernura. Hey, wow. It's the first time I've seen you, Pete, live. Watched every video for a year and I can die happy. Hey, welcome. Welcome, Anthony. Magenta does not know how to play Risk. Let's see what White does here. White gets a take and hopefully puts a stack on the Ukraine. Thank you, Anthony, for the cheer one sub. Thank you so much, bro. Poor Green is not in a great spot. Yeah, well, White put him there. Yeah. I can insist on this. White didn't want to give me an easy card. I 
problem. Like, that is fine. There's no way that Magenta can get enough to punch this way. At some point, Green makes a move. Either they lose patience on this front. Yeah, good. They made a move. Now Yellow eats them? I don't think Yellow eats them. I think Yellow's a good player. Or good enough. Yellow wants me to attack green. Like, open up his stack to me? I will never do that. <laughs> I will never, ever do that. JJ says, brah, Arco sucks. Does he? I think Arco's great. How could you say that about Arco? Okay. Magenta doesn't even realize they have a set. Yeah, now he does. Mm -hmm. Thank you, in a zone with the Prime Sub. Much appreciated. Okay. No cards for the Peepman. Cards for the Peepman, hopefully, up here. Yes, and then they start turtling because you're Australian play. No. Ooh. Okay, white's going to hit that three. So we, I can trade with white here. Okay, and now, now yellow locks it up. I think white hits my three because they're done hitting magenta tens. They're not done hitting magenta tens. <laughs> That is Jehoxa. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is a great game of risk. Okay. I don't want to trade that set. We got to win one. We got to get that redeem, you know, the redemption arc. I punished, I punished the noobs for too long at my own expense. Yeah, green has no play. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We will very soon be in a three-player game. Okay. Yep. Magenta's getting ready to retake Asia. I gotta leave. Green quits. Yellow takes him. I'm going to try and hold, uh, we're going to try deadliest trap magenta. So I'm going to try and hold, let's see what, let's see what white does here. First of all, I'm going to try to take all of, uh, yellow. And tell white to hit me.
So now we're in a good deadliest trap situation. So white can take my Africa and that will leave us equal in generation. And then we pincer the um, magenta player. White is in no way good enough to understand. I wouldn't go that far, man. I wouldn't go that far. He sees this situation. He's not an idiot. Okay, he breaks NA. Don't break NA. Break. Take Africa for yourself. Hit me. Hit me. It's okay. Hit me, though. Hmm. I mean, that still works. Yeah, but you're right. He isn't good enough to understand. Yeah, if white takes Africa, I'm happy. Then we can start closing. Then we have one, two, three borders on Asia, and we can choke off Magenta. Magenta now has no cards. Maybe they suicide my 46 to give the game to white. Good game. White's killing him, giving me the win. That was not the move. But white is like an intermediate. Okay. Well, we finally received a redemption, ladies and gentlemen. White did not believe that they could take me in the 1v1, so they didn't even try. Ending the video on a high note. Paid actors confirmed. Paid actors confirmed. Well, you know what I always like to say, folks. Much better lucky than good. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch for the winter. Hope you enjoyed the 100th episode of Fix Friday, folks. Thank you so much. It's been quite the ride. I appreciate you guys defeating two novices, one beginner, and two masters. You all enjoyed, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.